How are you doing? <clears throat> I hope you're having a great day. How to not start a book? How to not open a book? This is how to not do it. So today I decided to read one of the worst chapters, uh, first chapters that I have seen over the years. And this 100% has to be the first chapter of the Twilight books. Okay, first sight. Mm -hmm. It goes, by the way, we, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is just, you know, for educational purposes, but also just to laugh and to have fun uh, because this is really not good material. Anyhow, it go, by the way, it's the best material in the book. It's just that the whole book is not good material. Uh, my mother drove me, it goes, my mother drove me to the airport with the windows rolled down. Um, this is really not a good opening line because you see this book got famous because it just got famous it didn't get famous because it was good writing number two it doesn't really respect the reader uh, because you see the time of the reader is important when a first chapter is being written it's important that you hook them with a relevant information about the plot okay so this particular theme is really really as boring and as dull as it gets number two it really doesn't add anything anywhere of any degree okay it, it's really not interesting my mother drove me to the airport with the windows rolled down unless there are going to be zombies jumping through that rolled window it's not a good opening line but of course there are no zombies you know that come through that rolled window anyway it was 70 degrees in Phoenix, the sky, uh, a perfect cloudless blue. I was wearing my favorite shirt, sleeveless, white eyelet lace. I was wearing it as a farewell gesture. My carry-on item was a barker. So all of this is as irrelevant of information as it gets. <laughs> Anyhow, in the Olympic... Um, Peninsula of Northwest Washington State, a small town named Forks exists. This is literally a Wikipedia dump. Come on. Near constant cover of clouds, it rains and... Oh my goodness. Look here, look, look, look. All of this is irrelevant information. Like, how disrespectful is this book to the reader? Because imagine you are in the bookstore and you are trying to determine if you want to read this book. And you want to know if the writing is good. So, of course, you de you decide, okay, I like the plot. Some girl, you know, is going to meet uh, vampires that sparkle. So there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Um, it's a romance story. Uh, yep, I'm just going to read it because I like romance. There's nothing wrong with that. But then you want to determine if the writing is good. Like if, if the author is capable of writing one good sentence. Now you have read two paragraphs and you're not even sure what the heck is all of this even, you know, relevant to the freaking story. Because you see, this is, first of all, it is world building information, but it is information that should not be in the first opening chapter. It should be in later chapters where it's more significant. It's a four flight Phoenix, uh, to, you know, four flight uh, from Phoenix to Seattle. Uh, it, it, it's a flight journal. It's a flight journal. This is supposed to be about vampires and, a, and this girl getting to fuck them, okay? I signed up to fuck vampires, okay? Now we are stuck here in a flight journal. All of this is a flight journal. I read it. Don't, there's no need to reread it because I can't, I can't take it. This is, this is illegal. This is some dumb shit. All that highlighted stuff should be removed. It's not good. Okay, it's bad material. You could start another spot. Where was it? Where, at the height? Um, let me see. Um, oh, yeah. So, so, yeah, here. Because, you see, we meet the vampires in the high school. Remember in the beginning I said, and the, the rolled uh, window. The rolled window. I said, unless there are, you know, zombies that are going to jump in through that window, it's pointless to have that opening line. Well, guess what? Here would actually make sense. Forks High School. 
because the the topic of interest for the first half of the story is actually Forks High School. We don't leave Forks High School for quite a long time, okay? So the first opening sentence being about Forks High School is a beautiful work because guess what? There are literal vampires in Forks High School hiding around in plain sight, okay? Forks High School had a frightening total of only 357, now 58, students. See, this is beautiful material. It should have begun here. This should have been the first sentence. Because it's, a to it's, the, it's just much better. Because it's, it sets up the frightening, total, creepy aura. But also, Forks High School is the topic of interest for half of the story. There were more than seven, uh, 700 people in, in my junior class alone back home. All of the kids here had grown up together. Their grandparents had been toddlers together. This is important because toddlers together, grandparents, it indicates, you know, this shit goes back. Okay? <laughs> it, this shit goes back. So, the first chapter should have actually began here. But also, also, there is really nothing wrong there is nothing wrong with it beginning here because we you know we are kind of more or less in you know we arrive at forks and it's it, it it was too green an alien planet you see this is why if you started with this paragraph you can have the creepy vampire vibes with an alien planet you know i'm not rewriting the story it's just called editing anyone with half brain can do this you can do it your grandmother can do it and your great great grandmother can do it because we know there are people who lived in the 1700s who did a phenomenal job editing books okay so forks high this is this should have been the actual opening line but hey there's nothing wrong with this line too i will take this any day over the freaking waste that is all of this look at this look at this madness this is complete utter madness this is more than a thousand words of bointless shit that should have been later in the story. It should have been later into the story. A lot of this stuff, world builds forks. That's why it should be later, not completely removed. Uh, though some of it should definitely be removed. Okay, this entire book should be removed from human catalog. But you get it, right? <laughs> Uh, this is when people talk about, you know, Twilight and why it's bad. This is what they're talking about. This book is literally structurally unedited. They left it unedited because maybe they wanted to make quick money off of teenage girls. Thieves. 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 I swear they are thieves, man. They don't care. They were just trying to write a shitty romance book, but... I think Roma, the romance genre is really beautiful. It's capable of amazing writing. This is just the work of thieves, man, trying to run away with it. <laughs> I swear they piss me off. These cunts piss me off all the time. Anyhow, this, this sentence is really beautiful. I would be the new girl from the big city, a curiosity, a freak. This is crucial because it also, you know, if you are someone who is from the city reading this, the objective of, of Bella is for people to put themselves inside of Bella so they can get to fuck vampires. <laughs> I'm just literally, you know, putting the game out there. That's why this book sold very well because... Do you know how in epic fantasy there is escapism for boys, right? You have this Bauer fantasy where this get bo sorry, this boy who is um, irrelevant, who has no name, who is not important... Uh, is suddenly a chosen one, they are important, they have a name, they go into a secret world like Harry Potter where everyone knows who they are. Guess what? Bella Swoon or Bella Swan is basically the Harry Potter but for girls. So you are as a girl, you are supposed to put yourself in the position of Bella Swoon so that you can get to fuck vampires, okay? Uh, it's that simple. Maybe I'm being sort of, you know, heavy-handed with it, but these thieves piss me off because they are heavy-handed with all this irrelevant, everything above this, you know, sort of, yeah, like I was completely pissed off, okay? So that's where I'm going to leave it. This is where the chapter should have begun. 
But then this other, op, you know, uh, this other point is really not bad. This paragraph is not bad. This paragraph as an opening line is not bad, okay? So there you go. How to not start a book. How to not open a book. This is how to not do it, okay? The worst material I have seen in a while. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.